What you say, ladies and gents, it is your boy, Bucket Hat Sam, and I can't believe I'm having to say this again. We have been, it's, it's embarrassing again, another poor performance. After last week, I thought, can it really get worse after that loss against Derby? And I'm pretty sure, I wouldn't say it's worse, but it's, it's pretty much on par. Again, awful performance against, with all due respect, a Cardiff side who, going into this game, 20th in the league, we should be absolutely dominating this side. And Cardiff didn't really offer anything. You look at the stats... Um, shots wise absolutely nothing statistics we're looking at now one shot on target for Cardiff other than the goal they offered absolutely nothing and I want to quickly discuss Alex Mowat which it was just embarrassing there was absolutely no need for that bit of anger sent off let the side down because in that time we were starting to create chances we were starting to look like we were going to get that goal which we deserved we were creating something we were doing something and then Alex Mowat just at one flicker of anger doesn't get the foul or the free kick he wants and then just goes through Volks there was absolutely no need for it sent off. It's embarrassing. Their heads are gone. This isn't the first time. The amount of red cards we get in this season. And then at the end of the game, Sam Johnson getting sent off. for uh, Which you can't tell what he's done. You saw he was grabbing the player and he's been sent off. But that's a straight red. That'll be three, three game ban now. Sam Johnston. That's two weeks in a row now where he's let us down. Second week in a row. It's, it's not good enough. We should be beating these sides. Today, again, we had another chance to catch up. We were four points. Four points off Fulham going into this game. Sorry, three points going into, into this game against Fulham. Three points. We have to take these results. Cardiff offered absolutely nothing. It was all long ball football. We played around them. Even with ten men, we were playing the football around them. We dominated the chances. We dominated the game. But we, had, we were lacking that end product. I know Daryl Dyke has come in now. We are going to have a striker that can potentially mop up these chances. But it's not good enough. You have to win these games. If, you have any, if we have any chance of getting promoted this season, we have to take these chances. These are the kind of games where no one wants to play Cardiff. They're a nasty side to play. They, they've got a game plan. They sit back. They defend well. And they get you on the counter with a long ball. And we simply just, we're just not offering anything. And it's... It's really starting to get frustrating because we have got the talent. The side today was the strongest it could be, obviously without Daryl Dyke, which everyone's getting high hopes for him. We still don't know how long his time is going to take to um, climatise to the, the championship. Um, but it's just not good enough. That is our strongest side. We had Alex Mowat back, Carl and Grant, our top goal scorer. Pretty much, it, that, was, that was the best squad we've got. Fellows, the youngster, he, he, he struggled today. He struggled. He looked good coming off the bench last week. He wasn't good enough today. It's a shame because I had high hopes for him because I thought he looked really good, really good uh, wand of a left foot. But it didn't work out for him today. I thought Dean Garner when he came on looked very, looked very good. Looked like he wanted to fight something. But Carl and Grant and Carl Callum Robinson, good today. Alex Mart before the stupid red card, thought he played very well. Kip Ray again now I think has been the most consistent player in the last few weeks. I think he's looked great. He covers well. He's brilliant on the ball. I think he had a great game. Carl Bartley as well played pretty well. Livermore didn't offer much, but you know what he does in the game. He just mops up, f tackles, wins the ball back. But as a collective, we aren't doing enough. Individuals, they're, having, they're winning their individual battles. But we just can't put the ball in the back of the net. It's simple as that. It's, 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 it's really, really frustrating. I think you can tell it in my voice. It's not the first time. We had 13 shots today. 13 shots, three on target. That's not good enough. Three on target from the Cardiff had one shot on target, offered nothing and scored. They hoof the ball, and I have to admit, fair play to Cardiff. I take my hat off to. Oh, I'm not going to take my hat off, but I take my hat off to them because they've they've come here and they've got a result which they were desperate for because they are in a relegation scrap. Before today, they were three points off the relegation, and they've uh, Peterborough have got a game in hand on them, so they could have caught up. So fair play to Cardiff. It's a point on the board, but they don't play nice football. We, they made us look attractive because we don't play the nicest football. But today, we 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 had something different. We played a bit of nice football. It's just frustrating. I, I sound like a broken record. Every single week I come on here and say, we can't put the ball in the back of the net. It's the final product that's missing. The amount of chances Adam Reach had to, to putting it across uh, kind of towns, and it was all down that left-hand side. We didn't offer anything down that right with um, TGH. I call him TGH because everyone does now. It just feels weird saying that. But him and Fellows didn't really whip the ball in at all. Didn't really offer much down that right-hand side. Whereas the left-hand side was very strong. I thought Carl and Grant cutting in. Adam Reach when he came on Contan's end, but it's that final product. It's what we need. We get to the byline, and then we don't beat the first man. And you know Cardiff with those defenders are absolutely huge. So you've got you've got to have that that perfect cross 
to actually find your man with players like Aidan Flint and McGuinness. And I've just realised Aidan Flint was also sent off for that Sam Johnston scuffle. I'd love to know what actually happened because obviously I'm watching it on the red button so I can't really tell what was going on. No one could tell. But there was a big penalty shout at the end. I'd have to see it back. But on first, first looking, it looked like a penalty to me. So I don't know if we've been robbed here. I really hope we haven't because I'm gutted as it is. But we should be winning those kind of games. Simple as that. Massive chance today. And we looked like we were going to get it until Mowat let us down. And Sam Johnston, it's just poor because we need we we need these players for the next few weeks. It's it's little moments of frustration, and that's the rest of the season. I know I know I might sound like I'm being dramatic, but I'm just frustrated. I'm really frustrated. Really frustrated. We should have won that game. Got QPR next week. QPR next week without a keeper, without our best centre mid. Not happy. Not happy, but guys, let me know your comments in this. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I think we've been let down by Alex Mowat and Sam Johnston here. Embarrassing performance again. Not good enough. Something needs to change. Something needs to change fast because we have to be beating these teams. Derby and Cardiff now, one point from the two of them. Bottom of the league and twentieth in the league. I'm gonna leave you with that. Book out Sam over and out. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. But yeah, peace out. Goodbye. Nothing.